And so as you can see, this method is one of the best methods because it's never going to go away. The Hey guys, what is going on? This is Wycliffe from TechHood254 and on this channel, we help you learn how to make money online in Kenya the legit way. So if you're landing here for the first time, kindly consider hitting on that subscribe button if you like content on how to make money online. And also don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any videos that we upload in future. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about something that we get requested a lot. Uh, so many people, uh, whenever they contact us, they want to know which method they can use to make money online or rather which method we actually use to make money online. And so I'm gonna be sharing with you which method we've been using for almost uh, the last couple of years, probably six or five or six years uh, to make money online. And so by the end of this video, I want you to be able to know where you can find jobs and how you can find those jobs and also how much money you are likely to make and also to find out maybe whether this type of you know method of making money online is for you so without taking a lot of your time in the intro let's just dive in so we do what is known as content writing and that is a huge part of what makes our income online and so if you've never heard about content writing before basically content writing is where you create blog posts and articles and things such as that to go on websites now let me just give you an example here so that you can put this into perspective so whenever you are looking for information and whenever you're searching for information on Google, what happens is you go on the Google search engine and you type in a certain keyword. For instance, let's say I want to buy, you know, a new pair of glasses. And so I would go on Google and I would say, um, I'm looking for the best uh, anti-glare glasses to use while I'm working on my computer. And so what I'm going to get is a few, you know, a couple of websites with blog posts that are written about these glasses and information concerning different uh, types of eyewear that I could use. And so this type of information is created by people who write content and people who write articles. Now, the reason that my partner and I love this method so very much is because there are thousands of websites that are going up online every single day. Now, why is that information that you need to care about? Well, if there are thousands, almost 500,000 websites going up every single day, it means that there's a lot of content that is being created or there is need for a lot of content. Now, a lot of the companies that are out there don't actually have the time to create the content by themselves because they're busy working on other parts of their business. And so they need people like yourself to help them out by putting the kind of content that they would like readers to view on the internet. And so as you can see, this method is one of the best methods because it's never going to go away. The internet is always going to be there and there's always going to be a need for blog posts. There's always gonna be a need for people to write content, for copywriters, for blog writers, and things like that. So I wanna talk about how much money you are likely going to be able to make as a content writer, but I want to leave that until the very end so that you put this into perspective first and figure out whether this is right for you. But before we talk about how much money you can actually make doing this, let's discuss some of the places where you could get these types of jobs. So I know a lot of times you hear about Upwork and you hear about uh, the freelance, freelancer.coms. However, there are places on the internet known as job boards. And so basically what a job board is, it's a platform that allows uh, clients to meet up with writers. Okay, so a client would basically be somebody that has the company and they're looking for somebody that can create the content for them. Now, we've worked with different clients before. Our experience is that we've worked for content mills before. We've worked for direct clients before. And so we know the best of both of these worlds. And so um, the best way for you to actually make money online is by, you know, mix, mixing them up. When you're first getting started, it's good to consider the content mills and then look into working with direct clients. So the first job board that you can find work on is known as ProBlogger. And I'm just going to list them and I'm going to leave a link. I'm going to leave links to them down in the description box below so that you can go over there and check them out. So ProBlogger is one of the places that you can find work. And it's a really awesome platform because it allows you to find jobs from different places that you can actually do from anywhere around the world. And so there's another one known as Listler. There is Guru.com and also 
there is indeed.com. Now, like I've said, I'm going to link them down below. The essence of all of these platforms is basically to help you as the freelancer come to a platform where there's a variety of different people looking for jobs. And so you get to pick whichever job suits you the most and you can apply for the job. Now, a quick disclaimer is that if you are going to be getting on these platforms to find work, one of the things you need to know is that having a portfolio is super important. A lot of the people that we've trained to work online, sometimes uh, we teach them how to do you know, content writing. And so one of the mistakes that a lot of people, I see a lot of people making is they want to get jobs, but they don't want to create a portfolio. Creating a portfolio is super, super important. This is the first, one of the first things that you need to do after getting the skill, after learning the skill, the first thing that you need to do is to create a portfolio because a portfolio allows this uh, client to see that, all right, this person, this person, you know, understands their game. They know what they're doing. They, they understand what content writing is all about. And so what you need to do to create a portfolio is have a couple of write, uh, writing samples, right? You need to have a couple of writing samples that you have on your own platform. It doesn't need to be a paid website, but you could put these things in a Google document somewhere, but it's always good to have a good presentation of your portfolio. And so I'm going to link down our por portfolio. I'm going to link our portfolio down so you can check out what that looks like, but it's not something that you uh, should expect to do like if you're just getting into this. So you could create a portfolio on different platforms. One of the best ways to create a portfolio is by doing something known as guest blogging. Now, guest blogging is basically where you find uh, a company that requires a blog post and you write for them. And so this allows you to get, you know, experience, but more than that, it allows you to have a portfolio such that whenever a client asks to see some of your samples, you can send them the link to this blog post that you've written. And it even helps you become way more credible if your blog post appears on a, you know, on a blog that is uh, well known and a blog that, you know, has a high domain authority. And so guest blogging is super, super important. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is how you can use Google to help you find clients that are looking for people to write their articles. So basically, when you go to the Google search engine, what you can do is use the search term write for us plus the niche that you would like to write for. Now, a niche simply means the industry. So an example like you can see here on the screen is if I want to write for the business industry or if I want to write for a pet's blog, what I would do is write the words write for us plus the word pet or dog owner or something like that. All right, so those are methods that you can use. You can use the job boards and also you can go to Google and use the specific search term write for us plus the niche or the industry that you are interested in writing for. Now, the next thing that you need to know about is how much are you likely going to be making in this industry? Now, this entirely depends on, okay, this depends on so many factors. Uh, first factor or the main factor is actually what is your skill level? Your skill level highly determines how much money you are likely to make in this industry. And so if you want to make any good money in this industry as a content creator or as a content writer, rather, you are going to need to sharpen that skill. And so the higher your skill level, the more you're likely to make. So the good thing about the, a website such as Pro Blogger is it allows you to see the different jobs and how much money you are likely to make. And I'm just gonna put some screenshots up here on the screen for you so that you can see what is possible. And there are certain times that you will find jobs on Pro Blogger that will pay you almost as much as $1,000 in a single week, depending on the niche or depending on the industry. But remember, it all depends on how skilled you are. So another uh, company that I wanna show you or another account that I want to show you rather that we have uh, worked with is the one that is appearing on the screen right now. And as you can see, it's really important for you to, um, to diversify because if you don't diversify, it becomes difficult for you to make an income that is sustainable. However, when you diversify, you will be able to find different uh, accounts or rather different platforms. You can work with content mills and you can work also with the direct clients to make an income. So the platform that I'm showing you on the screen right now, as you can see, 
you are able to make almost as much as $10 for every single article that you write. And what's important to note here is that not all these platforms are the same. I continue to stress on the word skill and practice because if you don't practice and if you don't have the skill, then what happens is a lot of times you won't find any clients or a lot of times you might sign up for these uh, platforms and you won't get accepted to them. So that is all for this video. If you have any questions about you know, this particular video, make sure to leave them down in the comments section. And also, if you're interested in sharpening your skill, we do have a tutorial that helps you do precisely that. Go ahead and check it out. It's the first or second link in the description box below. And I hope you got value out of this. If you did, don't forget to hit on that like button because it helps us spread the word to as many people around the YouTube platform.